Mietzke. I'm one of the boat drivers on board the Esperanza. One of the projects we'll be running during this expedition is a hydrophone survey where we try to collect as many audio recordings of whales on the water as possible. Whales communicate using a whole range of sounds. Some emit sonar clicks, similar to that used by submarines to navigate, while others, like the humpbacks the Japanese whalers are planning to start hunting again this year, use complex songs to communicate over long distances. The same whales in different areas around the world speak different languages. And even despite the so-called science that has been done on the Southern Ocean whales, there is very few, if any, audio recordings available especially on the Antarctic minke whales, the Japanese favorite science target. Leander Kansalfis is our onboard whale scientist. We know very little about the Southern Ocean whale populations and can learn a lot from listening to their communications. We know that whales are very sensitive to under our sounds, so I'm very keen to try to document the whales' reactions to incredibly loud noses made by the fast ships and exploding harpoons used by the hunters. Hydrophones like this one we use here on the ship are very sensitive microphones designed to use on the water. There are many different types of hydrophones. Some are just lowered from a drifting boat, while the type we have on board the Esperanza is designed to be towed behind a moving boat. The microphone is here inside the tube. The tube is filled with oil, which like water is non-compressible and transmits sound very well. The oil ensures that the microphone has a good contact with the surrounding water at all times and also prevents the microphone from getting crushed by water pressure at depth. The hydrophone is towed up to 300 meters behind the boat, thereby reducing as much as possible the sound of our own engines. The audio signal is sent back down this cable and is recorded using a digital recorder in a waterproof case on the boat. We can monitor the sound on a pair of headphones, although often many of the frequencies we record are beyond the range of human hearing and can only be truly studied by the scientists back on shore using much more sensitive audio equipment. As with human speech and songs, whale sounds can tell us so much about social interactions, feeding patterns and outside impacts. And best of all, because sound travels so well on the water, we don't have to get very close to whales and we certainly don't need to kill them to gather this valuable information. Um.